us to Mallorca, trying to get around the point and the wind is dead behind us. So we've got to be careful that we can get around the point, but also not jive at the same time by going that little bit too far. The wind catches the other side of your sails and then you do a crash jive, which is really hard on your gear and not good for your boat. We don't like that. Also, often when the wind's directly behind you, you have quite big waves caused by the wind. The dinghy is being towed. It's not ideal, but it's a bit of a pain in the A, if you know what I mean, to get the dinghy up. You've got to get up the motor, hoist it all up. So we prefer to tow it if we can, but then you really got to watch it in these waves when you're towing it because it can flip. Then we've lost a $10,000 motor, which isn't very cool. We have another insurance claim. And the other thing, I don't know if you saw, but there's some pretty dark clouds up ahead where we're going around this point and there's also some lightning happening occasionally. So, it could be quite interesting when we get around there. Tomorrow we're heading off to Ibiza and that will be fun. is like. It's beautiful and we're uh, we're safe. We're, we actually anchored on some rocks <laughs> which isn't good but there was no way that we were to know that uh, but I did know it was only four meters depth so if we have any problem uh, it's gonna be all good. I can just dive down and get the anchor. I've got some beautiful rainbows. Amazing, amazing night. David's helping me cook. He wants to be a bit of a master chef when he's older 
and uh, he's pretty good at it. Really good, in fact. Uh, what are we cooking, David? Um, mushroom steak and car caramelized onion. Mmm. Yum. just starting to thaw out. It was pretty wild. It was exciting, but freezing. Um, now it's quite nice. We're all snuggly and you guys cooking me something yummy. Bella after a swim, cleaned the decks down in the torrential rain, gave them a good scrub. Well done Bella. Now she's all cuddled up as well. Tomorrow, as Jazz said, we're gonna be sailing to Ibiza. That's about a 10 hour downwind sail. Looked at about four different weather reports and they're a little bit variable. Uh, hopefully we're not going to have to motor the whole way. How did the boy do? The boy did well. I think he's going to take after his father and be yeah. an amazing chef. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I was happy to broaden my horizons and look at new books. New books that she not just romances. That's where we developed too. Okay. You have to say this with your tongue over the mouth. I love the book. This is not pepper box. Oh, no, 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 it's my hairdo and my hat. It's kind of cold, feeling a little snuggly. We're looking forward to Ibiza. Um, it's an island I've heard about all my life, um, but never thought I'd go to. This trip's a lot like that, a lot of places that I've heard about, and finally we're actually going to them. It's pretty amazing to be sailing around the world and traveling as a family. I have to pinch myself occasionally and remind myself how just like incredible this is. Because you can get, you know, it can become normal. Um, but it's amazing. It's really incredible. We're so blessed to be able to do this. And we're watching the sunrise sailing across the sea. We're not sailing. We're actually motoring. There's no wind right now. Now, because we bought such a big dinghy with a 20 horsepower motor, it's a mental exercise to try and get the thing on and so we really do think twice about it so we often do what we shouldn't really do and that is tow the dinghy but uh, if you want to tow a dinghy out at sea there are a few little tricks to getting around it uh, one is to make sure you've got a good bridle uh, so it's pulling from both sides especially if it's an inflatable you don't necessarily have to do that if you've got a hard bottom and uh, where the dinghy is positioned is really important. So on a sea like this, I put it in the middle, really close at the back. If we're sailing and we're heeled over, then I'll always put it on the downwind side and tie it in really close. Sometimes on a, on, on, with a big sea behind us, if there's big waves to stop the dinghy surfing down and hitting the back of the boat, we'll put it on a, a, a line quite a way out. I mean, yesterday, uh, that was happening and it was coming forward and it was smacking into the back of the boat. It wasn't a good situation to be in. Obviously the risk is, is if the dinghy flips, if that did happen, the plan is to get a rope, the dinghy rope, onto a halyard really quickly and hoist it out of the water. Because it's an inflatable, it won't be sinking, but it could definitely rip the cleats off the back of the boat if we're going fast enough and if we don't slow down fast enough. So it's not an ideal situation to be in, but on a day like today, where the sea is so slight, and uh, we're just gonna have to get the dinghy down when we get there, it's a risk that we're certainly willing to take. Bit of school going on downstairs. We're all having like- Jazz is allergic to the cat. We all are. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't care, do we, Bella? We love Shuggy the cat. And uh, there she is, keeping Naomi company. What are you working on, Naomi? Science. Sort of She's got science. a science exam in two weeks, and she hasn't even finished the work. But it's like really hard, so she's stressing out. For for our new viewers, Naomi, like, what are we? 
how we doing school? How does it work on a boat? We do school online, but there's a special little website that has everything we ever need on it, and we just um, email our teachers back in New Zealand for it. The problem is that you need internet for yeah. this, and Mum woke us up at 8.30 because we're going to run out of internet in about 15 minutes. So we're trying to get as much in as, much in as we possibly can. How do you like correspondence school on a boat, Bella? It's good. Yeah. Well, all school kind of sucks, so... I mean, it's school. It's quite fun. Yeah, what's your favourite part of school? That we don't have teachers. Well, we do have teachers, but they're not here with us, apart from Mum, who is more my mum than a teacher. And I'm getting ready to do a bit of vlogging. Normally when we're on a big, long passage like this and the motor's going, I can have the iMac running and uh, catch up on a few vlogs. We think we might have caught a big tuna, finally. We saw a whole lot jumping. And this is our big lure. Apparently. We catch small ones on the other lure all day. Josh saw a whole lot jumping. I saw them, no, no, I didn't see them jumping. I might lose them if we do that. David, uh, what are we doing? Pull them oh. in. Oh, that's you. Did you get? Yes. Oh. Schedule, the school's coming in, and here comes the lightning. It was right here, like right there, lightning. Scary. And it's just gone to like behind a wind. It's a really windy. It's cold water. It was really cold. We've just turned off all the electrics because we're worried about lightning strikes again and so Josh is steering by hand because autopilot's obviously off, everything's off. He's layered up like he's going skiing with his wet weather overalls, his hoodie and we've discovered that our wet weather jackets are a little bit light for these kind of end of season Mediterranean conditions which are frankly quite freezing. So we might have to buy some better wet weather gear for crossing oceans. Well. We made it, got a 
say I was a little bit worried about the dinghy the last wee while. The lightning was left behind. We're in Ibiza. And I just ate a carrot. I'm just be really hungry to eat more carrots. drunken debauchery of Ibiza, I gotta tell you, it's an amazing place. The cliffs, the stones are just stunning. The landscape, the, the beaches, incredible. And we've really enjoyed our stay here. We found a cute little bay and uh, we're anchored in for the night. Got the barbecue cranking. Just enjoying some local rose and the company of our family. Below the stars with the wind against the chin. Gentle as my fingertips on your skin. Set your mind free. Let me be your guide. No need to reach for the stars. I'll bring you the sky. We've been loving in the morning, loving in the evening, in the park on the beach. We've been loving on top of city lights in the countryside, on the bus, on the trees. Rainy night, sunny days, anytime, any place. You and me. Me and droning. I got in trouble from the lady in the house. There is a cute house on the on the cliff edge, built into the cliff. Talk about uh, houses that don't bring an impact on the landscape. This is a good one. Well, the lady was not happy with me droning over her house. I have people drone over my house every day, you know, on Nikau. So she wouldn't mind if I took a photo of her house. She wouldn't mind if I went up and knocked on the door and said hello, I'm sure. But just people hate drones. I don't know why. And uh, in any case, I got the footage. Keep on working on your dream. Thanks for watching the vlog. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like it, I'm happy with the thumbs down. I just like people either liking it or not liking it. Cheers for watching. We don't ask for much, but the subscription would be awesome. Catch you later. Searching everywhere for a piece of